Hi everyone, Elokil here again. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to walk you through how I designed and animated this feedback prototype in Figma. I created this prototype using just four screens, so it should be quite easy if you follow me step by step as we do this. Um, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and without taking much of your time, let's get started. First off, I'm going to create my phone frame that we are going to use for our designs. Um, I'm using an iPhone screen. Um, you can use any phone frame that you want. And then I'm going to create a couple of rectangles, three rectangles to be specific. Um, that is what I'm going to use to highlight the colors that we're going to use for these designs. Pick any colors that you that you want, or you can just um, use the same colors that I'm using if you want to get um, the exact same results as me. So first off, I'm going to pick up um, the base colors that we're going to use for the designs. We're going to have two sets of colors. One is the base and then one is the darker versions of these. You understand why as we move on to the designs. So we have three sets of colors now. I'm going to duplicate these three rectangles and then I'm going to now pick out the darker versions of these colors using my color picker. And I'm going to do the same thing for all three colors. So we select the darker versions of these colors that are going to be either on the foreground or on the background, depending on how you would want your own design. Be sure to be creative so you, you know, get the hang of it. Now I'm going to give uh, my first frame um, its color. Using the color picker, I'm just going to use the um, highlighted colors that we already have, which is the first one. It's um, a little bit of red and orange, you know, but um, it's already there on our elbow, so I'm just going to pick it. And then from there, um, we're going to start our designs. So first off, I'm going to start adding the text. That it's going to be at the top of our frame, which says, um how was your shopping experience you know it's basically a text that's um meant to ask the user how they feel about the action that just concluded they just concluded um which results in them having to impute a feedback feel free to use any font family that is most desirable for you as for me i'm using the font called quicksand and for the font size I'm using somewhere between 20 and 21. After we have set our font, we'll go ahead and give it a color which is the darker version of the color that we're currently using on the background and then we place the text in our artboard. So I'm going to move these colors off a bit just to give space for my designs, you know, so they don't interrupt what I'm doing. Now I'm going to move the text inside of our frame and place it just somewhere at the top like this. So that's the first thing that the user reads on that particular screen that asks them how they feel about their shopping experience. Now I'm going to create two squares. I'm not going to use a circle. I'm going to create a square and you're going to know why as we go deeper into the design. So I'm going to duplicate this square and when I'm, when I'm satisfied with the size, I try to align it to the center of my artboard and I give it a darker version of the color that is on my background. So I'm going to set the radius um, very high until the square is completely rounded and it looks just like a circle, just like this. Now using the pen tool, I'm going to draw this ni nice little boomerang shape over here. And, and then after that, I have to make sure that um, it's properly aligned with um, the other side. It looks just like the top of a roof of a house. And then I'm going to give it a color also. Let's increase the stroke size to somewhere about 10 or 11. Just um, And then I'm going to now increase the radius until the edges look nice and rounded like this. Then you can open the font or the stroke settings and set it to round on both sides. Now now our side face has taken shape so i'm going to make sure it's in the middle of the eyes that we have already drawn out so i'm going to select all the shapes that we have there for the face and i'm going to pull it into our frame right here 
so let's place it somewhere around there nice and easy right so now the next thing i'm going to do is add the text for the feedback that says if this is good or bad or happy or not good i'm going to also give it a color set the font size to around you know um a considerably large that is very readable because it is um one of the most important things that you would want the user to notice during his feedback now i'm going to draw um, a rectangle and i'm going to also set the radius to make the rectangle rounded corners and i'm going to give it a color because this is going to serve as our call to action button so i'm going to add a text inside this rectangle that says submit so that users can use this to submit their feedback now i'm going to adjust the font size and then i place it in the middle of the rectangle that we have already drawn out so i select both of them and i put them in a group by using the shortcut keyboard command Control G or you can right click and select group using the menu that pops up But before that let's draw a an arrow that's going to you know Just guide the user to show them that yeah There is an action that is going to come up after they have clicked the submit button So the arrow is going to be pointing to the right I'm going to make the color of the stroke to be white and I'm also going to reduce the stroke size somewhere nice and easy then we also reduce the radius Now that our arrow has taken shape, I'm going to select both these strokes and everything that we have on the button and align them to the middle and then I'm going to put them in a group. Select everything and click on keyboard shortcut command G to put them in a group and then slide it into your artboard or your frame just like this. The next thing we are going to draw now is the slider that users can use to adjust their feedback whether it's good not bad or bad they can use this slider to navigate through the different screens that we're going to have for them to give their feedback so draw a stroke just like this increase the stroke width give it a nice color that we're using the darker version of the background color uh, and then we're going to duplicate this ellipse make it a little bit bigger and then we're going to make sure that it is properly aligned to we properly align the ellipse and the stroke that we already have make sure it's aligned somewhere in the middle just like this and then we're going to place two more ellipses that are considerably smaller than the one that we already have then we're going to place them on both sides right now before that we're going to add a little text over here that serves as a marker for what each of the points in the slider represents first one says bad the last one on the extreme end says good and the one in the middle says not bad now in order to let users know what point they are in the slider we're going to make the first which is the first ellipse bigger than the two other ellipses that we already have so the two other ellipses are going to be much smaller to show the users that yeah these are action points but they are not the one that is currently highlighted it is when you click that is going to navigate you to the second other points or whichever point that you click at next thing is to duplicate one of those smaller ellipses and places place it at the back of the bigger ellipse that you already have so that even when the slider moves you also have a pointer over there to let users know that they can click back to this side now after that is done we select everything and we move it into our artboard nice and easy make sure everything is aligned properly from the left to the middle down to the right
now after that is done we are going to just make sure the elements on our design uh, have enough breathing space between each of them so there's enough space between them and the elements do not look too crowded or too compacted and so we are going to just move um, each of them around just to leave enough space on our artboard now I'm going to name this artboard bad to represent what feedback state that is you can double click on the name of your artboard if you want to change the name just like I did now select the artboard and click and drag while holding the alternate key to make a duplicate copy of that particular artboard now for the second part of our feedback state which is the not bad state I'm going to select the um, two eyes that we have for the side face and I'm going to change their property by reducing the height of those particular um, shapes and until we get something like this that's looking more like a rectangle with rounded edges and then I'm going to edit the name to not bad and also move the bigger ellipse for the slider down to the middle now for the colors we are going to use the second colors that we have which is the yellow one so we have the darker version of the yellow for the foreground element and the lighter version of the yellow for the background so we can edit the name of this artboard to not bad as well and then we make a sec another duplicate and this is going to be for the last feedback state which is good so i'm going to draw two rollers down into my frame that are going to serve as a guide for how big i'm going to increase the size of the two um, eyes that we have here for this feedback state so while holding shifts on my keyboard i click and drag to increase the, the size of the two eyes that we have over here until both the ends are touching the rulers that i have and then i select the mouth of the smiley and then i rotate it while holding shift to get a nice perfect rotation you can edit the name of the feedback here and change it to good and then you can drag the bigger ellipse on the slider down to the last um, right section which says good then we go down to edit the colors darker version of the green for the foreground elements and then lighter version of the green for our frame background then you can edit the name of this artboard as well to the feedback state that it is which is good so for the last part of our feedback ui i'm going to make a copy of our frame and name this to um feedback then i'm going to delete a couple elements the slider the text and i'm going to drag down the thank you message or and i'm going to edit the message to say thanks for your feedback which is the final um feedback if a user should submit a feedback as good then i'm going to move the button up a little bit and edit the button by taking down the arrow since there's no more action from here and i'm going to move the text in the call to action button to the middle of the button and i'm going to edit the text and change it to done so guys we are done designing each of the screens that we need for this particular prototype now what we're going to do next is to head on to the prototype section and um, animate each of these screens and connect them to each other now we start animating so i go on to the prototype section and then i select the first button over here in the middle which says not bad and i drag the wire and drop it on the second screen which is not bad so navigate to um, for the destination we select not bad screen for the animation we select smart animate and then easing in and out for the curve now head on to the second screens and select each of the feedback text and drag and drop the wires onto their respective screens. Make sure to maintain the same settings for the prototype for and, and the animations so that you get the same um, animation on each of the screens whenever you navigate in. On the right side of the screen is an image that um, shows the interaction that I'm using for the animation of all of the screens as I connect them to each other. Make sure you use the same settings. Now for the last interaction, head on to the good screen and select the submit button and drag it and wire it or connect it down to the last screen that says thanks for your feedback and let's see how the prototype looks. So hit the play button and test out your prototype to see how it's looking. 
so there you have it guys our prototype looks nice and neat and it's interactive as well you can see how the, the button is responsive as we try to navigate through each of the various screens so please be sure to like 